In today's video, we will be enjoying an action drama thriller film, entitled Sniper, Ghost Shooter. There will be spoilers ahead, chill out and enjoy. The movie begins in Syria, where terrorists intend to assassinate American hostages on a beach. Miller directs a sniper team in their firing positions to eliminate the terrorist. The terrorists want to record the killing of the hostages as revenge against the Americans. The team waits on Miller, their commander's orders, before taking action. Shockingly, one of the terrorists is a child, and they command him to kill one of the hostages. When Miller orders Beckett to shoot, he hesitates. So Miller orders Barnes instead to shoot with no time to spare. However, Barnes misses, and the terrorists are alarmed and kill one captive. After that, the sniper team and combat chopper kill all terrorists fleeing the coast. Although their goal to assassinate the terrorist is accomplished, one hostage gets killed. Miller calls Beckett and inquires about the incident, but Beckett swears to do better the next time. Cervantes and Rojas later celebrate their success in Istanbul, Turkey, by partying on a pier with Beckett and Angst. Angst brings up their last mission while celebrating, which makes Beckett uncomfortable, and she blames him for freezing up. Beckett leaves them and enjoys his beer by himself. Cervantes calms and urges him to relax. Beckett, thanks him and tells him he wants some time alone. After Cervantes leaves Beckett alone, a woman looks at him and walks away. Beckett pursues the woman to the pier's end, flirts with her, and begins discussing their business in Istanbul. From a distance, the suspicious man approaches the abandoned building's rooftop, pulls out a sniper rifle, and aims at Beckett. Fortunately, Bidwell, Beckett's major, shoots the sniper. He immediately phones Beckett and requests that they meet. Beckett is conversing with Bidwell when the woman goes away without his notice. Later, Beckett and Bidwell meet and warn him that the sniper is about to murder him and to be cautious next time. Miller informs him of the operation in Syria, and Beckett tells Bidwell that he hesitated since one of the terrorists is a child. Bidwell recommends that having a conscience is not bad, but it should not cloud his judgment. After that, the team gathers to meet the colonel for their next mission, secure a gas pipeline in Georgia from terrorists. The woman whom Beckett met at the pier reappears. She introduces herself as Slater and takes command of the operation. Their mission is to remove enemy snipers, and Slater will provide them with drone backup. The team arrives the next day at the pumping station in Georgia, and Slater describes the procedure in detail. They must defend an oil tycoon named Killian Grun as he arrives at the station for two hours. Gazakov, the terrorist leader, leads the terrorists in assaulting Killian. The team takes their designated positions outside the station and begins the operation. Angst sees a flash of light in the distance and informs the team, but it is too late. The terrorist's anti-tank sniper shoots one of Killian's bodyguard's cars, and the rest of the bodyguards shoot the terrorists. During the skirmish, a sharpshooter sights Rojas and Angst. The sniper kills Rojas, but the others cannot see him, so Slater deploys her drones to provide overhead guidance. Someone is directing the enemy sniper to their target. The opposing sniper shoots Mains, and the terrorist defeats Killian's bodyguard. The colonel in command detects the terrorist on the radar and orders to fire missiles where terrorists attack. Killian's men defend him, and Angst and Beckett try to aid Rojas' neck wound, but she dies of blood loss. Following the conflict, Miller, Slater, and their men scout the area where the terrorists utilize the anti-tank sniper, scattering the remains of Gazakov's brother-in-law. Beckett, in disbelief, blames Colonel Sergei for perhaps providing the terrorists with their intel. With no deaths among Sergei's forces, Beckett suspects the ambush. Colonel Sergei sends Beckett to a station in the Highlands, escorted by Sajid and a member of the team Beckett is about to join, where they protect a pipeline. They arrive at the station house, where they find Russian men. They only instantly fight Beckett upon his arrival at the station. Andre, the man in command, is impressed by his skills and orders them to cease fighting. Andre gathers everyone outside and explains how Beckett ends up on his team. Beckett is disciplined for insubordination, and he explains that someone in Georgia is a traitor secretly passing information to terrorists. He lost his buddies, but Georgian soldiers suffered no casualties. Andre suggests that Beckett needs to find more proof of the traitor before condemning the Georgians. He also needs to find the man who killed his friends and force him to talk about how they got to their positions. After that, Andre and his team monitor a listening station and discover that Chechen thieves are stealing from the station. The thieves arrive at the facility armed, and Andre wants to kill them all. However, Beckett opposes this, believing they should instead subdue them. Andre then orders Beckett to demonstrate how to do it. While the others rally behind him, Andre prepares to attack. Beckett tries to negotiate with the thieves, but they make suspicious movements. This causes Andre to shoot one of them, killing all except one for interrogation. 
Later that night, Andre and Beckett talk about their past. He tells Beckett that he has been in Beckett's circumstances before, a child pulled into combat. He hesitates and ignores it, but the child hides an explosive and murders his comrades. Andre advises Beckett that a competent sniper must lose their humanity to kill without hesitation. The following day, Sajid sees terrorists in the mountains, anticipating it's the Chechens out to rescue their captive. Immediately, they set bombs in various areas and prepared for the skirmish. Everyone moves to their positions while Andre and the others defend the station. On the other hand, Beckett and Sajid set up behind the rocks for sniper assistance. A few moments later, the Chechens storm the station and begin shooting. Andre and his team protect the station by killing everyone they see and activating the explosives they plant. He uses his assault weapon to fend them off, but they shoot an RPG at the station, leaving them defenseless. When the Chechens notice Beckett, they fire an RPG at them, which Sajid and Beckett manage to evade. Beckett lands safely and searches for Andre. At the same time, Sajid betrays them and plots to murder Beckett to join them. Later, they bring out Andre and attempt to behead him. Fortunately, Beckett responds just in time, shoots everyone, including Sajid, without hesitation, and saves Andre. After that, Andre commends Beckett for not hesitating to shoot Sajid, and Beckett's probation ends. Upon returning to the base, Beckett is immediately tasked to meet Mothershed in Georgia. He retrieves Gazakov's brother-in-law's ashes to meet Gazakov and obtain information regarding who's feeding them their intel. The following day, Mothershed accompanies him to Gazakov's location as one of the drones assists them. The drone spots the enemies but cannot identify them. Moments later, they meet with Gazakov's men, and Mothershed returns the remains. Beckett then asks who provided them with the sniper team's coordinates. However, he is unconvinced by the terrorists' claim that it was a God-given gift. Gazakov suddenly approaches them and insists that they do not lie. The colonel then interferes as he notices the terrorists in distress, so he dispatches a missile to save his men. Beckett then sees a terrorist with a tough book and a satellite uplink. Soon after, the missile bombs their spot. Luckily, Beckett and Mothershed avoid it in time. Back at the operation base, Slater demands an explanation from the two as to why they met with Gazakov. Beckett tells her that he noticed the terrorist carrying a tough book with a satellite uplink monitoring and suspects they used it to know their coordinates. The colonel contacts Beckett through Slater's cell phone and orders Beckett to fulfill his new assignment by returning to his team and defending Killian. Cervantes greets Beckett when he arrives at the pumping station in Georgia the next day and tells him that the others are on a mission at the Highlands upon discovering Gazakov's location in the area. They then rush to their team as Beckett anticipates the danger of the operation, knowing that their coordinates are exposed. Somewhere in the Kutaisi region, Miller, Barnes, and Ongst are in the highlands, providing long-range support for the ground troops. Drones monitor overhead as the terrorists track down Miller and the other snipers. To distract the snipers, the terrorists shoot one of the foot soldiers. The opposing sniper tries to attack Ongst but misses. Ongst promptly reports the terrorist location at the White House. However, she gets shot in the shoulder, so Barnes rushes to her and provides first aid. Beckett and Cervantes arrive just in time and instruct Miller to remove their vest with its GPS. Meanwhile, the foot soldiers enter the White House, but unfortunately, the terrorists are gone. Slater and Sergei then arrive and inspect the place. Beckett again brings up the drone issue but Slater remains skeptical. Eventually, Miller and Sergei consider his claim. After that, Beckett and the others resupply their ammunition at the operation base. Shortly after, the colonel visits Miller's team and Miller reveals the drone's GPS issue and that Gazakov's residence in Kutaisi was a trap. Miller believes in Beckett's theory and backs him up. The colonel then considers the issue and gives them new instructions. The colonel discloses their next task, to eliminate Gazakov and his troops. According to satellite pictures, Gazakov plans an attack on the station the next day. Reinforcements will arrive by nightfall to deal with the remaining terrorists in Gazakov's possession. Miller believes it's a horrible idea if the terrorists can see the drones, but Slater says it's impossible. The colonel orders them not to use their GPS devices and prepare for the attack. Miller and his team arrive at their destination. Beckett has a bad feeling about the expedition and tells Miller that the attack could happen today rather than tomorrow because the station is left vulnerable. However, Miller informs him that he saw Gazakov's movement heading to the base on satellite photographs. Beckett then tells him how they came up with the coordinates, which he guessed was through the drone network. Beckett persuades Miller that the information they received could be fake. They immediately head back to the station. Meanwhile, in the station, Gazakov begins their attack, with few soldiers to defend the station who are helpless. 
The Colonel and Slater request reinforcement from the base, but it will take some time. Miller and others arrive shortly after and back up the soldiers. The opposing snipers are now aware of them and begin to hunt them down. Beckett locates the terrorist holding the tough book and shoots them. The encounter ends as he eventually spots Gazakov and eliminates him, making the terrorists retreat. The movie ends with Beckett reuniting with Cervantes, Ongst, and Barnes. The colonel then informs them that he will continue serving as their field operator. Meanwhile, Slater waits for Beckett at the pier to apologize for not believing his initial claim on the drone issue. Beckett doesn't mind and offers her a drink which she accepts. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this and help the channel grow.